Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. That's right, we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes here. These are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. So let's introduce the patrons today. We have Hein, Rugguld, and Gav. Okay, so we're gonna roll one through three or four through six. So five, so that would be this one right here. And then one through three, four through six for Gav. So he gets this one. Then there's one left for near the end of the month. Stay tuned. So the theme this month is green. So we're all about the green cards. If you have any predictions for what we'll see in here, leave them in the comment section. Thank you for being a patron, Hein. So let's see what we get today. Modern Horizons, Zendikar Rising, Set Booster, Commander Legends. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Core Planeswalker, Core 2020, Core 2021, and Ikoria. So let's do something like this. All right, and get into it. So this is a double-sided card. So on this side, we have Nissa Vastwood Seer. Legendary Creature Elf Scout, it's a mythic. 2-2 two, two for 3 when this of us would see it enter the battlefield. You may search your library for a basic forest card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control 7 or more lands, exile Nissa, then return her to the battlefield transformed under her owner's control. Okay, and on the other side, it is Nissa Sage Animist. Planeswalker Nissa, 3 loyalty. A plus one, reveal the top card of your library if it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into your hand, minus two. Put a legendary 4-4 green elemental creature token named Ashaya the Awoken World onto the battlefield, minus seven. Untap up to six target lands. They become 6-6 six, six elemental creatures. They are still lands. Okay, so that is a fun one indeed. And what is your favorite double-sided card like that? I think uh, the Liliana is one that sticks in my mind the most. So let me know in the comments, let's get into it. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over bucks. Starting off here with Ikoria, we have Thieving Otter. Go for Blood, Spontaneous Flight, Blitzleech, Fertilid, Greater Sandworm, Pacifism, Bliss Dispit Gremlin, Facet Reader, Night Squad Commando and the Uncommons Zenith Flare, which actually did a fun deck tech a while back. I'll check a link in the corner to that in case you missed it. Titanoth Rex, Unbreakable Bond, and the rare is Mythos of Snapdax. Sorcery for four. Each player chooses an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker from among the non known permanents they control, then sacrifices the rest. If black and red was spent to cast this spell, you choose the permanents for each player instead. Alright. Fantastic Seb McKinnon artwork there, and an island and human soldier token. Moving on to Core 2021. Let's see if I can get the pack open. That is the primary challenge here when you're the owner of a pair of Muppet hands. This thing does not want to let go. Alright, so maybe that's a good sign. We have a zombie token. A very nice forest, I'll chuck that in as well. And it's Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Those are a creature vampire cleric, one, three, for three. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life for three and two black creatures you control gain life link until end of turn. And the Uncommons, Falconet Adept, Siege Striker, Warden of the Woods, Silent Dart for the Commons, Scorching Dragonfire, Forgotten Sentinel, Mind Rot. You watch too many videos on this channel, you'll rot your mind. And discard two cards, but it's all good. Just keep on watching, that'll clear right up. Daybreak Charger, Truffle Snout. Track Down, Crypt Lurker. Keen Glidemaster and Staunch Shieldmate. Onto the Zendikar Rising Set Booster. Hunting for... Signed art cards. Do we get one today? We do not. What is this? I do not remember the name. That's a Cliffhaven Soul Sword, all right. And a Foil Full Art Swampy, very nice. Next up we have Spitfire Lagak, Akum Hellhound, Prowling Felidar, Tazim Raptor, Gomafada Vanguard, Thundering Spike Mage, Zoff Consumption on the other side, We've got the Zoff Bloodbog, Kabira Outrider, 
Scale the height, Sandra is on do inversion. Sorcery for eight, destroy all non-land permanents. And on the other side, let's do a switcheroo. We have on do sky ruins and Spadfield tap, tap it for white. You will also get a foil rare, Skyclave apparition, not bad. Creature core spirit, two, two, three. So when it ends Spadfield at solid to one, target non-land, non-token permanent. You don't control with commander mana cost four or less. And when it leaves Battlefield, the XL card's owner creates an XX Blue Illusion Critch token where X is a converted mana cost of the Exiled card. And get to know your boosters. Anyone looking forward to these set boosters in Kaldheim? Curious uh, the changes they're going to do there, what the art cards look like and so forth. Next up for M20, we have Squad Captain, Frilled Sea Serpent, Act of Treason, Natural End. Barony Vampire, Silverback Shaman, Battalion Foot Soldier, Winged Words, Unholy Indenture, Griffin Sentinel, and Uncommon Chandra, Novice Pyromancer, I'll chuck that in as well, Eternal Isolation, Thought Distortion, and this can happen if you don't get the crazy pulls, and a Mythic, yes, Soren Imperious Bloodlord. For loyalty for three is plus one target creature control gains death touch and lifelink to end of turn. If it's a vampire, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Is other plus one you may suck a vampire when you do so on Imperious Blood Lord deals three damage to any target and you gain three life minus three. You may put a vampire a creature creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Nice one there for Hein. Blossoming Sands and a Johnny's Pride Mate. And did anyone catch the Christmas special we did the other day? I'll check a link in the corner to that one. So we went through all the collector boosters. A bit of a showdown battle, a lot of fun. Next up, Commander Legends, we have Strategic Planning, Spark Harvest, Ripscale Predator, Scholar of Stars, Life Crafter's Gift, Squad Captain, Wild Heart Invoker, Elvish Doomsayer, Azure Fleet Admiral, Angel of the Dawn, Sentinel Spider, Spectral Searchlight, Maelstrom Colossus, Uncommons, Coastline Marauders, Reclamation Sage, Hero's Blade, and a Mythic, nice, Hellkite Corsair, Creature Dragon 6-5 for 6 with flying, so when it enters the battlefield you may put a commander you own from the command zone onto the battlefield, it gains haste, return it to the command zone at the beginning of the next end step, good deal. And we also get Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist for your first Legendary, along with Glacian Power Stone Engineer and a Foil Armillary Sphere. And a Horror Token, I'll throw that in as well because that is just too cool. Modern Horizons up next. Ren and Stimpy, paging Ren and Stimpy. I tried not asking for them. Now I'm going to try asking for them again one of these days. All right, we've got a Zombie Token. A Eula, the bear, snow-covered mountain, a foil, Urza's Rage, because he didn't get the crazy pulls, and not bad, it's a goblin, I'll take it, Pashalic Mons, legendary creature, goblin warrior, 2-2-3, two, two, so whenever Pashalic Mons or another goblin you control dies, Pashalic Mons deals 1 damage to any target for 3 in the red, sacrifice a goblin, create 2-1-1 one, one red, goblin creature tokens, alright. Talisman of Curiosity, most of these seem to be over a buck, I'll chuck that in as well. And a Talisman of Creativity, okay, back to back. And a Squirrel Nest, Arkham's Astrolabe, I'll throw that in as well. Fountain of Icor, Maraza Behemoth, Segovian Angel, Treefolk Umbra, First Fear Gargantua, Viachino Sand Sprinter, Enduring Sliver, and Phantasmal Form. Okay, so let's scoop it all up here. Did well with the mythics today, sir. Enjoy the pulls. Okay, if I can get that in there like so. All right, next up we have Gav. Thank you for being a patron. What goodies will we see in here? So if your prediction did not pan out for the first one, what do you think is going to be in the second one here? Let me know. Okay, so Modern Horizons, per usual, Commander Legends, Zendikar Rising, yes, it's green, what a surprise. Core 2021, Ikoria, and Oath of the Gatewatch. So you know what, let's just do things in that order, that looks fine to me. And take a look at our green goodness here. We have Green Sun's Zenith from Eternal Masters, Sorcery for X and a green, search your library for a green creature card with the mana cost X or less. 
Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Shuffle Green Sun Zenith into its owner's library. As the Green Sun crowned Phyrexian prophecies glowed on the Tree of Tales, and a bit of a Phyrexian tie in in Kaldheim coming up. What do you think of that? Let me know. Okay, let's get started here. Oath of the Gatewatch. So we have an old drowsy aggressor. They are aggressive creatures, aren't they? Dazzling reflection, slip through space. Vines of the recluse. Unnatural endurance. Pulse of Miraza. Scion Summoner. We get a waste, so I'll throw that in as well. Sweep away. Sears Lantern, Uncommons, Timber Gorge, Step Glider, Weapons Trainer, and the rare is Eldrazi Displacer. Creature Eldrazi 333 with Devoid for two and color. Sets on another target creature, then return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control. And a Full Art Swamp, I'll throw that in, and an Elemental, why not? Next up we have Ikoria. So I have not seen the Prickly Marmoset in a while, so I hope we can come across him. Starting off with Frostvale Ambush. Here he is! Speak of him and he appears! Look into his eyes! He forecasts fantastic pulls today for Gav. Lurking Deadeye, Honey Mammoth, Blister Spit Gremlin, Essence Scatter, Night Squad Commando, Plummet, Dranath Healer, Raking Claws and Uncommon's Majestic Oracorn. Boon of the Wishgiver, Splendor Mare, and the Rare, nice one, Ketria Triome, Land Forest Island Mountain, tap for green, blue, or red, and to the battlefield tap, cycle it for three. Alright, off to a great start there on a Forest and Human Soldier. Core 2021. Let's see if we can get a Mythic here. So we have an Angel Token, Plains, and Temple of Silence. Enters the battlefield, tap when it enters the battlefield, scry one, tap it for white or black. Furious Rise for the Uncommons, Bolt Town, Waker of Waves, Commons, Furor of the Bitten, Frost Breath, Warded Battlements, Forgotten Sentinel. Scorching Dragonfire, Crypt Lurker, Creature Horror, Track Down, Opt. Mateshift Battalion and Shore Strike. Okay, so on to Zendikar Rising. So we've got a regular draft booster here. And I hear the print runs for Kaldheim. They've got things a little bit reversed this time. They've got more set boosters than draft boosters. So I think that is a good decision. Welcome to the arena, a full art mountain. I'll throw that in. Foil rare, Crawling Barons. It's land, tap for colorless mana for four. Put two plus one plus one counters on Crawling Barons, and you may have it become a zero zero elemental creature in two end of turn. It's still a land and a mythic. Scourge of the Skyclaves, creature demon, star staff two with kick of four on the black. When you cast a spell, if it was kicked, each player loses half their life, rounded up. Scourge of the Skyclaves, power and toughness from each equal to 20 minus the highest life total among players. Good deal. Palaka Predation for the Uncommons, Palaka Caverns on the other side, Windrider, Wizard, Thwart the Grave, Commons, Ghastly Gloom Hunter, Spare Supplies, Tezim Raptor, Kazandu Stomper, Disenchant, Nullid Colony, Sizzling Barrage, Rabid Bite, Cleric of Chill Depths, and that is it. Okay, Commander Legends, show us what you got. Jeweled Lotus would be fantastic. Starting off here with Universal Solvent, Defiant Salvager, Rummaging Goblin, Omen Speaker, Inspiring Roar, yes, Ajani, you're inspiring everyone, aren't you? I Blight Assassin, Filigree Familiar, Captain's Call, Annoyed Ultrasaur, Sanitarium Skeleton, and this would have been us if we were not getting the crazy pulls today. Fall from Favor, Sisse's Ring. Perilous Mere, Uncommon's Horizon Scholar, Mask of Memory, Feast of Succession, Seb McKinnon, Fantastic, and Rare is Undergrowth Stadium. It's land and spadful tap, unless you have two or more opponents tap for black or green. Not bad at all. A Romy of the Dead Tide, and Rograk, Son of Rogar, along with a Foil Captain's Call. 
and sold the token. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as a new video is released. Okay, second time's a charm, Modern Horizons, we got a bird. We got this, something despair, force of despair, sounds about right. Snow covered swamp, and we will slow roll today, put a rare there. Uncommon Shatter Assumptions, Goblin Matron. What am I skipping here? Tribute Mage. Cave of Temptation, Cleaving Sliver. Silumgar Scavenger, Settle Beyond Reality, Stream of Thought, Rhyme Tender, Unearth, Vishino Sand Sprinter, Enduring Sliver, and Phantasmal Form. Let's put this stuff over here, and the rare, it's a mythic, Echo of Eons, Sorcery for six. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into the library, then draws seven cards, flashback two, and a blue. Okay, it is not the Ren and Stimpy we were looking for, but it is a Mythic, so we did pretty well with the Mythics today, I would say. Enjoy the pulls there, Gav. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.